This video will show Suite CRM email to anything set up using Gmail API and Google Cloud PubSub. Here we are in the admin panel of the Suite CRM. Click on the module loader. This is our Suite CRM email to anything package. Click on the install button. Then click on the commit button. Wait for a few seconds to get the installation complete. Here, you can see the plugin is installed and the license is automatically activated. Go to the admin panel again and reload the page. At the bottom, you can see the Suite CRM email to anything section. Before setting up an inbound email address in Suite CRM, you need to set up Google Developer Console. Search for Google Developer Console and click on the first link. Go to the dashboard and click the drop down to see all existing projects. These are your existing projects, we recommend creating a new project by clicking on a new project. In the search bar, type topic and you'll get the PubSub topic option. In the PubSub window, click create topic. In topic ID, give a relevant name. Then click create at the bottom. Once the topic is created, we'll provide the required permission by clicking on the add principles button on the right. In the new principles field, you need to add this Gmail API push service account. Select the owner in the role and click on the save button. In the role and principles section, you can check all permissions. Go to the Suite CRM again, since the license is automatically activated. So we'll now move on to the second step, that is, inbound email configuration. Enter the email address whose email data you want to parse and save in Suite CRM. Enable the active status checkbox. You will get the topic name from the Google Cloud Console that we just created. Copy from there and paste it here. Go back to the Google Cloud Console, go to the navigation menu, and then API and services. Select the credentials option. Here, we've already set up an OAuth client, click to open. If you want to know how to create an OAuth client then check this video here. Copy the client ID and paste it into Suite CRM. Next copy the client secret and paste it into Suite CRM. Click on save. Here, you'll get two things, the first is a redirect URL, and the second is a webhook URL. You need to save them in Google Cloud Console. Click on the webhook URL button to copy it. Go to the PubSub topic you just created. Click on the subscription ID at the bottom. Click on the edit icon at the top. In the delivery type, choose push. Paste the webhook URL that you copied into the endpoint URL field. Scroll down to the bottom and click on save. Back to Suite CRM, copy the redirect URL by clicking on the button. Go to the OAuth 2.0 client and add the copied redirect URL into the authorized redirect URL section. Click on save. Now go back to the Suite CRM. Click on the sign in with Google button. Choose the email address that you provided for inbound. Click on allow. If everything goes right, you'll see a successfully configured message at the top. Go to the admin panel and refresh the page. You can see the second step is also complete. After that, you need to go to the receiver setting. A default receiver is created automatically for you. By default, the record will save in leads, you can change it to any module from the edit view. Currently, the leads module has no records. Suppose a client fills out a web form whose input will be emailed to the inbound email address. You can see we have got the email with all the information. Now, we'll go to the leads module. As you can see the record is created instantly. As soon as the email is delivered to the inbox, the plugin creates a record in the leads module. We've also got the notification here. In the detail view, you can see all information is saved to the relevant field based on the email data that we get. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.